Right, so this time I've set up the trail cam. <clears throat> that is where the coop trap was originally. And as you can see now, see all these pheasant feathers, obviously they've been here a week. And when I looked today at the cage, I could see black fur on it. I reckon there was a, a cat down here, I reckon. Could be wrong, but it looked like black fur to me. So this is what I've come up with. Oh, there's the um, squirrel trap. <coughs> this is what I've come up with now then. A drop door trap, so no way in or out. Just got a treadle at the back there. Have you can see that? And this bar, what runs towards the back. Quite a good trap. Well, I've yet to actually use it, but it seems like quite a good trap. Just got to balance this down a minute. All right, yeah, so the bar just runs from the treadle plate, just there, just comes through and holds the cage up. And it just runs through two bits of wood. Oh yeah, chicken wire bottom. Now that other piece of wire in there was just some of was left in there. I couldn't be bothered to cut it off but I may do that in the future. Fairly large trap to be honest. I think that would catch most animals up to maybe a fox might be able to get in there. Cat easily, probably pheasants, um, rabbits, everything. It goes off relatively easy as well because it's got a big treadle plate with quite a lot of weight on it so it already wants to go and the door is light so it doesn't take much to pull it down. I'll just stand next to it to give you a comparison of size. So it's like up to the height of my knee. So that's it, I'm going to have to deset it now anyway because I've got other things to do but I'll keep this one going and see what happens because I'll have to retrieve the trail cam because it ain't, I don't think it's got anything and this hasn't gone off so right, thanks for watching, I'll see you later